Hey, what's poppin' people? Welcome to another video. So I posted on my compute So I posted on my community tab a few days ago and I asked you guys, you know, we're going fishing. What tip video or what I didn't even say tip video, matter of fact. I said, what video do you guys want to see? And everybody is commenting jerk baits. There's like three comments under it that said jerk baits. And that is what we're gonna be doing today is talking about jerk baits and how to catch bass. I really I think I've probably I've been running YouTube for around six years now and I do not believe I probably made probably around three jerkbait videos and not many of them have been like how to work a jerkbait and how I work a jerkbait. But today I have one killer tip and I'm telling you this one is killer with the jerkbait that I've never told anybody. I've never even told you guys on YouTube because about five years ago I was waxing them using this one tip and it was unbelievable how many more bites. I literally caught 10 to 20 times more fish just because I use this one technique to work this drift bait. So let me show you guys what I'm working with today. I actually have this on, a, on my Muse Black, and then I have my Concept Z right here. This is usually not my jerk bait rod, but this is what I have it on today just because this is the rod I brought on the kayaks. And I, this is just a standard, you know, medium heavy, extra fast right here. Gear ratio, this is seven three to one gear ratio reel. It doesn't really matter. Majority of the time on a jerk bait, you're gonna be jerking it anyways except for the tip I'll show you today. And uh, I actually have 12 pound cigar fluorocarbon. This is in Vizek. When throwing a jerk bait, I really recommend, you know, 10 to 12 pound fluorocarbon. Those are both very, very good. So that is the combo right there. As you guys can tell, Concept Z, Muse Black. And then we got this old jerk bait right here. So let me talk about this guy. If I had my jerk bait box today, I would show you guys all the ones that I have. But for this one, this one is actually by Mega Bass. Mega Bass jerk baits are going to be a little bit more expensive, and um, a lot of you guys are probably not going to want to buy these. But if you want to go catch a lot of fish, I really recommend it. Mega Bass is all I throw for jerk baits. Um, this is actually a Vision 110. Um, as you guys can tell, it's got that little shallow bill on it. A majority of the time, I'm using a Vision 110 Plus One, which is a jerk bait that actually goes slightly deeper. And uh, that's usually what I use on Lake Lanier when I'm throwing over some brush piles in the deep water and absolutely hammer those spotted bass. But this one is just a regular Vision 110. If you guys are wondering what color this is, this is actually a custom paint job. This is one that you guys can't buy. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has you know purple right there on the back. And then it's got some like greenish white right there on the body. Looks very sexy. That is an amazing natural color right there. When it goes to jerk baits, usually majority of the time I'm throwing like a straight white, or more of like a sexy shad natural color. That's usually what I go to. But for today, I just got that custom paint job I had to whip out for this video, baby, because we're gonna go catch some hogs today. So we're actually out on a new lake on our kayaks. I actually got Alan Bob behind the camera and him and Adam actually just got bonafide kayaks. Show them right here. So Alan actually got the SS-127. It is actually the same kayak as mine, um, except he's got the tan. And dude, the tan is looking sexy. Gosh, it looks very good. I'm, I'm really, I love the tan. I actually like the tan better than the gray that I have. But the only thing is this matches my truck better if I ever wanted to put it on top of it. And that tan is just looking sexy. I love it. Um, big shout out to Bonafide for helping these guys out. And uh, Adam actually just went home. I am super freaking excited because this is the last day. Yesterday was the last day of class until break. So the videos are about to get amazing. We're about to film a lot of videos. Alan's actually staying for a week. I don't know if you guys know, but he is actually from South America. He is staying a week just to go film some videos and film some content with you guys. So. Big shout out to Alan Bob for that. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. We're gonna throw this jerkbait around and see what we can put together. Got him. First fish of the day on the old jerkbait. It is a baby guy, I can tell you that, but I will take him for the first fish of the day. Baby dude on the jerk bait. This is gonna be fun. Oh, got another one. That's a good one. No, it's not. That's a baby. I saw him flash in the water. Okay, well, we're on the something. That is the ones right here, people, that you do not really wanna mess with. Gosh, <laughs> hooked him right in the back too. I thought I had a good fish and <laughs> just another baby, but we're gonna continue to throw this jerk bait. Hopefully get some more bites. This is gonna be really fun though. I love throwing a jerk bait, especially this time of year. 
So I kind of want to stop for a second and talk about really what just happened and how I just caught those two fish because it's kind of crazy because it was just like an instinct in what I did. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but you see that little, oop, little island right here? Well, it's a super shallow flat that pushes way out here. And I actually had a bite on a Senko and I, he just came off right off the end of that flat. Well, right, I'd say about right here, which is only about five foot wide, is a little tiny ditch that runs right in there. So it goes from literally inches of water and it dropped off to about five, six foot. And I saw it when I was going over there because you could obviously tell that it was super shallow off this flat and then it, you could just tell that it dropped off. And I just took this jerk bait over there and just tied it on, threw about five, six casts and caught two fish. They were not big, but we're gonna continue to run around here and hunt. I think they're gonna eat a jerk bait really good today. So I know this is a different site. We're actually at a pond now. Uh, me and Alan, you know, we fished there with our kayaks for a little bit. I do have to say a big shout out to one of my supporters, one of my fans. He actually showed me that location, so I was going to try it out. And we just caught a few fish, it was pretty tough. And I was like, let's go over to the pond and film this tip video because it's gonna be really harder for sitting in a kayak, like showing you how it worked, everything. It, it would've just been hard, so we're over here. Got my jerk bait right here, as you guys know. I showed you guys the Mega Bass. Um, got my old combo. And I'm gonna show you a few different ways I like working a jerk bait in one way that's gonna help you catch 10 times as many bass. And that is just a fact. It's all gonna depend on the day and how those fish are acting. But if you go take this and apply it and just see how they're eating a jerk bait that way, I'm sure you will catch a ton of fish. So one of the standard ways to work a jerk bait, which I like, is simply, all right, put that jerk bait out there and just start popping it, all right? I usually do variations of, you know, pop, pop, and you pause, pop, 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 and you pause. This is a standard way I work a jerk bait like this. And if you notice that there's a lot of slack in my line, Alan, if you aim down right there by my water, if you guys watch, see how there's a lot of slack in my line hitting the water? You don't have your, see, this is what's gonna happen. If you have your line tight on a jerk bait, when you pop it, Pretty much what's happening is that bait's just coming towards you all right when you pop it i wish i could show you guys underwater what it really looks like but if you just have zero slack in your line and you're popping that jerk bait it's just going to be kind of working towards you this bait in the water here let me show you is going to be say you have slack in your line it's just going to be coming towards you like that if you have slack in your line what's going to happen is that bait's going to dart side to side and that's exactly what you want is that crazy movement like that because it's going to look exactly like a little injured bait fish but let me show you guys this one more time throw my bait out there so i got slack in my line pop 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 you notice like i didn't even reel, reel my line all the way up even when i reeled my line i didn't reel it all the way up and then pop 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 and what that bait's doing when that line has zero slack in it is just darting and it's also suspending. I don't know if you guys know, but a jerk bait doesn't float. So once you're done popping like that, the jerk bait's just sitting there. Sometimes it's kind of nosed up just slightly. Pop your rod again, it's gonna twitch. And usually if a fish is looking at that and you pop your rod, that fish is just gonna engulf that bait and you'll feel them load up on it. And it's just really an amazing bite if you can really hop on those fish like that. So another way to work this jerk bait if you're fishing this thing in super shallow water, this is something that I see people don't, they don't do a lot. Uh, if you're throwing this thing in shallow water, pop your rod up, all right? So what that's gonna do, cause you know that jerkbait has a little bill on it. Instead of that jerkbait digging down into the bottom, when you pop your rod up, it's just gonna start to go straight like this. It's still gonna dart, but it's not gonna be digging down in that bottom, especially if you're in super shallow water. Like right now at this pond, it's pretty shallow. So I'm probably gonna be wanting to jerk this jerkbait up like this rather than jerking it down to where I'm not getting it any deeper. So that is another little trick on that. And uh, another trick actually, is if you're fishing docks, say you're on a lake fishing docks, is throwing this jerk bait right next to the dock and jerking your rod up. I'll have to make a video on that. If you guys wanna see it, leave a comment in the sec, uh, leave a comment, leave a comment down below and um, I can make that for you guys. But if you guys throw this bait right next to a dock and start popping your rod up, I've caught a lot of fish doing that. Um, that is killer as well. So when it comes to jerk bait fishing, this is a really good way to catch finicky bass, especially this time of year, you know, the fall, the winter, I catch a lot of fish on this bait right here and a lot of quality fish. And there's one thing that really makes this bait very unique rather than other moving baits. It's you can pretty much work it as fast as you want. So say it's super, super cold outside, you know, those fish are really lethargic. You got some suspending um, fish that are suspending 
or there's fishers out there chasing bait, one really good thing that you can do is sit there, you know, you pop your bait a few times and you just let it sit. You know, you might count to five, sometimes all the way up to 10 because it's super tough that day. Then you pop your bait a few more times and then you just wait. One, two, three, four, five. Woo. Got stuck in the got stuck in the grass right there, but you you know you can kind of toy around. Ali, got some on my bait. But my point is, you can pretty much toy around with how slow you work this bait, and that's what makes it so unique. Because when you're throwing like a regular chatter bait or a spinner bait, um, you know that whole deal. You're pretty much consi consistently reeling that bait the whole time, even if you're yo-yo in it, or if you're you know working it slow. You're still having to reel that bait, and that's something about a jerk bait that I just love. Is it's a moving bait. It looks like a little injured bait fish through the water and you can pretty much work it as fast as you want or as slow as you want. All right, so this is what you guys have all been waiting for. This is what's gonna help you catch a lot more fish and what I found out with the jerk bait. So when you guys think about a jerk bait, you're thinking of obviously a jerk bait. You know, you're thinking of, I mean, it says in the name, a jerk bait. All right, well, <laughs> this is something that I don't tell many people I've never said on YouTube and this is gonna help you catch a lot of fish. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you guys know. So throw your jerk bait out there and you, and you watch my hand. I, I'm talking, you are barely reeling this thing, all right? You, you, <laughs> this is, <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling you guys this on YouTube because this is seriously something I use like in tournaments a lot. I've actually won a few tournaments on Lanier doing this and it is unbelievable how, how many bites you will get on this. It's seriously insane. Um, slowly reel this bait, just as slow as you can. You know, you're barely just reeling this thing. I'm gonna throw another cast out there. Just slowly, you throw your bait out there and slowly reel this. I mean, you feel like you're barely even reeling it, all right? And the trick is, is you're just gonna slowly reel this bait, it's just gonna slightly wobble, all right? And this is usually how you wanna throw a jerk bait. This is why this is very unique. And every once in a while, pop. You're gonna sit there and pop your rod, all right? I'd say two to three times max per cast. So I would range between one to two. Um, you know, if you're making longer casts and you're really getting out there, you know, you pop it a few times, but just start reeling your bait then pop it every once in a while. So what that's gonna do is this bait is just so subtle in the water, just slightly moving like this, putting off a tad bit of vibration because it does have a bill on it. So it's gonna be kind of just riding like a little crankbait, just riding along and then say a fish is behind this thing and you jerk this bait, oh, it's done. I mean, it's just gonna demolish it because it gives it that sporadic movement and it's gonna look just outstanding when this fish are looking at it. So slightly reel this thing, boom, pop it once. And usually that's when they're gonna engulf it. I'm telling you, go try this out there on the water. You will catch fish, I promise you. And if you don't catch fish on it, do not give up on this technique because it is unbelievable how many fish you can catch on it. And the reason why it's so good as well is because nobody does it. Like nobody works a jerk bait like this. And you know, fish are really not used to seeing anything. So just slightly reel that thing, pop it. I, I just cannot believe I'm telling this to YouTube, but I usually tell you guys all my secrets. I mean, I go out on the water. I show you guys all my fishing spots. I go out the ponds, you know, I mean, people people see everything that I do. I don't really hide anything. And um, you know, I don't think there's really a reason to hide this from you guys. And especially since it's getting this time of year where I know they're about to chomp this jerk bait. I just thought I would, you know, show you guys these tips. But I'm telling you, go out there and reel a jerk bait. People might look at you like you're crazy, but go out there and try it. Um, maybe I'll have to get out on the water one day and actually film a legit video of me doing it and showing you guys whack 20 pound bags on it because I've done it so many times, it's ridiculous. But I'm gonna stop talking now. We're gonna go out here and we're gonna see if we can catch a few fish on this old jerk bait. Literally people, <laughs> I we were pretty much coming to this part of the pond just to film, you know, the tip segment of it and I really wasn't gonna fish much. This is right after I just got done talking. Literally exactly what I was telling you guys about reeling that jerk bait and just caught one right off the bat. It was like two casts later. Not a big fish at all, but um, literally exactly how I was showing you guys, just slightly reeling it. I gave it a pop and he just engulfed it. I mean, I, I'm telling you guys, please go try it. Um, I'm not just pulling your chain on this one. It catches fish and you will catch a lot on it. Guys, I don't know what to say. I just did it again. I. I gotta go get the GoPro. I mean, they just eat it like that. <laughs> Dude, it's unbelievable. I, you reel a jerk bait and it, <laughs> oh my gosh, I just cannot believe it. Please go try it. Please go try it. A lot of people, I've told like a lot of my close friends about this. They're like, just, no, you're just pulling my chain. No, dude, you catch so many fish reeling a jerk bait. You catch more fish than you. 
it's unbelievable. Unfreaking believable, people. And this is why I make these videos for you guys, is to show you unique tips about bass fishing and tips that you, you know, usually wouldn't do. And uh, catches you some old bass, even when it's super cold outside. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. He hit it way on that pause. Oh, he came off. Dude, he ate it way on a pause. Yeah, like that was, that was pretty, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> Dude, he almost jerked the rod out of my hand, bro. Did you see that? Dude, the rod was about to go in the water. I didn't have a chance. <laughs> That was insane, dude. That was probably the goofiest thing I've ever done. So another little tip I was just thinking about as I was working this jerk bait is like when you're popping your rod, don't just do like two, two, all right? Then wait and go two, two and wait. Like try like one, two, three, pause for a second. Then maybe do one, one, two, like switch it up a little bit and don't make it like two you know the same thing i promise you, you'll get more bites because that fish might be following it and then when it just does something different that's when that fish is really going to eat it and one thing i really wanted to touch on that's really important I, I don't know why i didn't talk about it is the hooks on these jerk baits especially on these mega basses these are really 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 thin hooks i don't know if you can tell to that last one right there you can tell that it's actually stretched out and that's from just these little fish like you got to be very careful with the hooks on these baits and realize that you need to have your drag set because <laughs> The, those thin wire hooks on a jerk bait can spread in a heartbeat, especially if you get a big bass on it. You know, majority of the time I'm catching spotted bass on a jerk bait, they will stretch those hooks out in a heartbeat. So you have to, you have to make sure that you know your drag set correctly, and um, you know the fish isn't going to bend them out. Dude, I really want to catch one more on video. Oh, there he is, reeling it right there. Another baby. Another old jerkbait baby. Got me all types of tangled up, I'll tell you that, but little baby bass on this thing. I just switched it up. You know, I was jerking it, trying to get a real little pause bite going on and it just was not happening. So I switched it over to the old handy dandy reeling a jerkbait. Can't tell you how many times in this video. And it's just, it gets the job done. There is one thing I noticed about jerkbaits is little fish do not care to bite it. So you will catch a lot of little ones on it, but you will get some big bites as well, I promise you.